Welcome Ramblers to Rambling Radio, rambling your way throughout your day. Now your rambling weather in association with Cheese Be Gone. We've all been there. After a hard, enjoyable day, you get home to relax when you take off your boots and... P.U. Oh, Julian, your feet smell truly horrendous. But now, thanks to brand new Cheese Be Gone spray, you can banish your sweaty nightmare. Thanks to Cheese Be Gone, I can wander aimlessly all day. Available at all leading stores. Terms and conditions apply. Cheese Be Gone cannot completely guarantee fresh feet. Cashback is typical 3.14 APR. The weather today will be your usual rambling weather. As you know by now, come rain or shine, it doesn't really matter as you'll still keep rambling on. And now our special feature program, over to Dave. Thank you, Kev. Today, I'm going to be focusing on that most common of dog shearing animals. The Ramblus Maximus, also known as the Greater Spotted Rambler. Witness the lone Ramblus being disgorged from its travelling cocoon, allowing it to transform and adapt to its new environment of harsh and wet summers. For the first time ever, we are able to witness the rare and magical event of the Ramblus Maximus in his bank holiday habitat. This only happens a few times in the year. Notice the unusual features attached to these creatures, such as the pouches containing refreshments. Look, a parasitic mint cake. Hydration and navigation devices carefully wrapped in clear membranes. Note also the weatherproof layers that protect these fragile creatures from the Derbyshire climate. Most want to camouflage themselves with the landscape, but in this case, the, the Ramblerai are more adapted to the inside of their burrows. Notice the female of the species covered in similar markings to the male. It can be hard to tell the difference. The stompars split up to get back to their points of departure. And so his journey begins. Here we find a common sign that a Ramulus Maximus has been through here, shedding its biodegradable waste. Let us follow this fresh trail. By its smell, it must have walked this way about 10 minutes and 21 seconds ago. Ah, and here we have our lone Rambler making his way across hill and dale. Now we see our lone rambler scouting out others of his species. This is typical pack group behaviour of the creature group collectively known as stompars. They move in packs for protection and rudimentary conversation about the weather. And as they do this, different movement styles develop. Here we see various examples. As the day wears on, the strange eating habits of them are revealed as they're forced to consume foodstuffs of no nutritional value wrapped in a strange reflective sheet. We see them drinking from oddly shaped vessels which we believed to contain some form of hot, sweet liquid. The stompars manage their waste products by wrapping it several times in what seem to be plastic bags again and again. We must assume that these creatures take this waste with them back to their own lairs and dispose of it there. Oh my god, I have never seen this before. Viewers, you are looking at the spontaneous reaction of the stompars to reducing sunlight. A rare glimpse into their extraordinary lives. (laughs) 
and once again the Stompars can proceed through another field. Another strange habit of the Stompars is to try to feel superior to the landscape. Here we see them conquering a local hill. Watch as they look back on their great achievement, appreciating the views. But ahead of them is one of the greatest perils that they will face, the style. The first is over, but now more stompers arrive, causing a blockage. Notice how they try to help the others over. Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, the last one has got trapped by its enormous carrying pouch. Oh, what will it do? The others are walking away. Uh, this is a cruel world they inhabit. Remus also reluctantly shares his environment with a fast-moving two-wheeled Cyclisius. <sighs> Tired from his exploits, the Remlus activates his water supply. But tragedy! His precious water supply is depleted. He must find water or face dehydration. Luckily for this male, Fortune has provided a pub. Reaching the pub, a change takes place in the Ramblus. He sheds his feet protectors as he enters the familiar surroundings. Now we are witnessing him taking on fuel, a ritual often performed after walking in a large circle. Once refueled, he retreats back to his natural habitat by way of his travelling cocoon. The landscape gradually returns to its former glory in peace and quiet. But only until the next bank holiday.